of course, keep an eye on that. Let's get to Odell Beckham Jr. now as Adam hang tight with us. He says he's confused where a quote came from that says he wants a $20 million contract. $20 million a year, by the way. He said, all I'm saying is four and enough. Okay. Emojis in there, too. And meanwhile, Giants running back Saquon Barkley replied to a highlight film of Beckham saying that OBJ is still that expletive. Uh, so... <laughs> OBJ told Saquon <laughs> to have GM Joe Shane call his agent and that he still here? has more, quote, stuff to do. You think Why it's stuff? Do this to me. Do this is that, inappropriate, okay? I should think not that's be. Stuff? <laughs> what yeah. do you think it is, Dan? Let me ask you that. You're not going to say it either. All right, Adam. I got more boo boo to do. <laughs> boo boo. That, anyway. Adam, what do we know about the interests surrounding Beckham right now? and look at teams that have made moves at wide receiver. Dallas figured to be one of the potential landing spots for Odell Beckham Jr. And over the weekend, it traded for Brandon Cooks and is paying him $12 million this year. That probably eliminates Dallas. We've seen the New England Patriots go out and give $11 million a year to Juju Smith-Schuster. We've seen other teams like the Raiders go out and give $11 million a year to Jacoby Myers. There's only so many wide receivers and players you can play. Now, there are still a handful of teams that are expected to have interest in Odell Beckham Jr. The Buffalo Bills, the Giants, the Jets, the Rams. We'll see which ones decide to move forward for Odell Beckham Jr. He will find a landing spot. The question is, at what price? Yeah, I Mina, mean, you heard some of the teams Adam just mentioned there. What do you think is the best situation for Beckham? Yeah, you know, he, he's a tough case because he's been injured and we haven't seen him play football in a while. So, you know, we, we know at his best he would have been one of, if not the best, wide receiver options in free agency, but we don't know if he's at his best. The last time we saw him producing at a high level was on the Rams during their Super Bowl run, and that's the role I think I'd like to see him in this season, even if it's on a one-year prove-it deal as sort of a high-end number two in an offense like Buffalo's, where you have a number one, Stephon Diggs, who draws a lot of attention. And in the backside, you've got Odell Beckham Jr., who's still you know, a very, very good route runner. He yards after the catch, is an explosive player. That, to me, makes a lot of sense. But to Adam's point, of course, it is about the financials. They did clear some room restructuring Diggs' contract. If I was the Bills, I would go all in on that because I do feel that was an element that was missing from their offense mm. last year. Y'all follow me in this circle of mine. I'm going to play mind tricks on everybody because of what <laughs> Mina just said. No, he doesn't need to be in the one spot, but he'll be a one in Kansas City, which is, should be the obvious spot for me. And when you think about it, he's only the one at wide receiver because Travis Kelsey ain't a wide receiver. That's why he would be the one, but he would yeah. still be the two when you talk about the ability and effectiveness of the guys. I think you do a one-year deal. Six or seven million dollars in Kansas City. More than likely, you're going to end up in the AFC Championship based on what we've watched the last five <laughs> years. Point. And mm. you'll have an opportunity. You'll have an opportunity as well to have dynamic numbers, show that you're back fully healthy without it all being on you, but you can make those explosive splash plays that Odell Beckham Jr. wants to make as well. I think Kansas City would be perfect with him. Great play caller, great, uh, great uh, quarterback, and a great tight end and you would just fit seamlessly in.